Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best vehicle tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to track your car real time, get alerts if anything suspicious happening to your car, such as your car is starting when it shouldn't be starting, any vibrations. Also, if someone decides to unplug your car lock from your car, you'll get a notification for that too. You deserve that peace of mind and make sure you get your car lock. I do have a discount code for you guys shown on the screen right now. Get 10% off your purchase as well as 14 days free trial with the as well with that same discount code, man. Get you car lock. You deserve that peace of mind. Let's go ahead and get it to the video. YouTube family, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a whole nother video, man. Thank y'all for tuning in on today's video. And we got a lot of car related stuff going on. Yeah, you're not seeing double. So yeah, we do have two wide body scat packs on here today. Now I did another video on the comparison of my cat back, my catless cat back system to the Corsa. Now, you know, I got the MBRP race cat back and I got some comments wanting to know how it would compare to a mid muffler delete with a similar setup. So we're going to have that comparison for y'all today. So what we got here, you got my 2023 wide body scat pack MBRP race cat back three inch all the way back. Uh, we have the uh, catless mid pipes and all that on my car. Now on this one, my guy Santana scat with, he has catless mid pipes as well. The stock X pipe. Now I have a different X pipe on my car, but he has a stock X pipe. He has a mid muffler delete. And I think with his mid muffler delete, he did, I think the shot did like three inch on the mid muffler delete. So the piping that replaced the mid mufflers are three inch. Um, he still has the resonators on there. You can tell here, still got the resonators on it. And still we got the factory tips as well. And the only difference, I do have the five inch tips on mine. So this would be a really good comparison as to what a mid muffler delete will sound like versus a full cat back. Now, the only difference with this is we both are catless, so the sound may be slightly different, but we're gonna see if there's a difference in sound with me going with the $1,200 cat back versus, we're gonna say, I guess $70, $50 mid muffler delete on this side. So I'm gonna give y'all all the footage, I'm gonna give y'all um, how loud it compares to each other, I uh, give y'all some rails and all that type of stuff. So you're gonna have a good comparison of the sound difference with these particular cars. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a startup on both of the cars so you can get a sound compare some how it sounds and which one's actually louder here. So, you know, if you see my last video, I got the decimal meter here where well, it's hard to see because of the fact that it's, that is uh, kind of sunny, but y'all know decimal meter here. And so I'm gonna do a startup on my car. We're gonna get the reading on that. Then we're gonna get startup on, on my guy's car over here. We're gonna see exactly which one's gonna be louder, if there's a difference in tone or any of that stuff. Now keep in mind, um, that was a warm start of my car. Of course, if it's colder out, it's definitely gonna be way louder than that. I mean, we both had to drive over there and you can see the sun right up over our shoulder, man. So it's a hot day out here. I mean, not as hot as it could be, but y'all know how they go with the warm starts and stuff. So that was my 106.5 for the startup. Now we're gonna do my guy's car over here and let me get the meter back out. All right, now we're gonna see what his car sound like on the startup here. six there uh, so you can see a little bit of difference mine slightly louder now keep in mind my piping is bigger on my car so it does give it a little bit deeper sound um then um then with the mid muffler delete now keep in mind he still has his resonators on so that's going to take a lot of the high pitch sound out of the exhaust there so it, it keeps a lot of that deep sounding in it versus with mine it, 
it's gonna be a little different so as far as the tone of the cars the tone of the cars don't really sound too different um, in this case but what we're gonna do here we're gonna start up both cars here for you and let them run and you can get them a side by side of how the car sound all right so on this one right here we're gonna hit y'all with a double start up here and we'll give you like a good side by side comparison of what the cars sound like so So I'm gonna say, as far as the sound of the cars here now, compared with the Corsa and doing MBRP, there's a very, very, very different sound with the Corsa versus MBRP. Um, with these cars, the, the sound is much closer together um, as you know with the setups we got. Um, there's not too much of a different in tone. Mine does have a little bit more sound on it um, during idle than the other one without the full cap back. That's about the only difference I noticed in sound. Other than that, they sound very similar. Um, and whatnot. So what we're gonna do next when we be got some revs and that should really tell kind of what kind of sound we can expect going with the mid muffler delete and catalyst or full cap back and cap. All right, so what we're gonna do here now, we're gonna get a decimal reading with him revving my car. Then we're gonna rev his and see if there's gonna be a difference here. So let me get. All right, so here we go. So what we get here. So in the decimal reading now, if you remember my last video, it was a little bit, it wasn't as loud as it was then. Now, all right, go ahead. This time around it's hotter and my engine's way warmer than it was. So it went one to 5.7 on there, but you heard how the rail sound on this car. So we're gonna compare my cat back with the mid muffler delete and you can see there's a difference in tone with the different cars. on that one if you could tell 108.1 so it is a little bit louder than mine on the rev now i did now i did have the other video where mine did go louder and i put the proof in here so you can see that but but um but today might that might be yeah but today his car was definitely louder than mine and the tone ain't gonna lie the tone sounds pretty similar with the with the mid muffler delete and my cap back system so I mean, you can be the judge. You can say y'all spent too much money, whatever. Um, but um, but you can tell that I can. I, it was hard to tell the difference in the tone with my car and the tone in his car. And my head is ringing. I'm spending all kinds of gas fumes. So if you see this thing just fall over, you already know what happened. But um, not too big of a difference in tone there. Mine may be slightly deeper. That might be the only thing. But other than that, I mean, for the most part, if you hear both cars, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. That's just honest. Uh, coming from someone, yes, I did spell, spend about 1200 on my full setup um, versus he did not. So, I mean, that's that's what it is, right? All right, so next thing we're going to do here, um, we were talking about how the difference in sound come. My guy was revving both cars. He said on the inside of my car, mine sounds a little bit smoother smoother and cleaner on the inside of the car um, versus his car. Now, you saw the decimal readings on there, and I compared it to, you know, when we did it last time with, versus the Hellcat, mine was a little bit louder then. But, you know, temperature, stuff like that could play a factor in how loud the cars will go. Um, pretty much did it the same way and all that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get a little pull going up the road so you can get an idea of how the cat back sounds versus the mid muffler delete sounds. Going on the road, kind of real life, you know, scenario or whatnot. Granted, I know the camera won't do its justice, but you know, kind of best we can do to show you kind of the difference. All right, so he's gonna get the road. And he's gonna do a pull up the road here. Pretty good idea, good idea of how it sounds. I don't get to hear this part. I don't get it here from this angle. So. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> man man I, I i'm excited to hear that i don't get to hear that man i normally do not get to hear that part So now you're gonna hop in his car and we're gonna hear how it sounds compared to this. There's a slightly different um, difference in tone. Yeah, Lee. That now hearing this in person, I'm trying to describe best way I can. There's a slight difference in tone between the two, right? Keep in mind, he still has resonators on his versus mine. Do not I have a different X pipe. So on my car, it does when you're wide open, there's a little bit more of the high frequency volume that come through the car through the exhaust when you're wide open on it. Versus his car is not there because the resonators do, uh, you know, kill some of that. All right, y'all, so those are the exhaust clips for both of the cars. Mid muffled delete and catless on here versus a full cat back and catless on my three inch exhaust and whatnot. So in conclusion, what is the difference in sound? Now mine does have a little bit more of the high pitch sound when you get wide open on it. The idle sounds a little bit deeper um, than with the mid muffled delete. Now, as far as with my car compared to the Corsa versus this, the Corsa and the MBRP is gonna have a way different sound uh, than anything but these to be honest the mid muffle delete and this does sound a little bit closer together there is a sound difference with my car versus this car it's hard i'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera you heard it on camera but there is a little bit of a sound difference with my car versus this car like i said i have a different size x pipe different shaped x pipe versus this car uh, different size piping versus his car and both of those contribute to you know the uh, the difference in sound plus you still got the resonators on it so it takes some of the high pitch stuff out which mine doesn't but you know those are some of the differences there so let me know which one you think sounds better which one should you buy honestly i can't tell y'all that because uh i always say when it comes to exhaust what sounds good to everybody you know it's really subjective you may think the mid muffler delete sounds better you may think mine sounds better you really got to hear the person to make your own judgment on that um you know i'm a i think these both sound good sound great i mean i'm not i'm not mad at my purchase and you know he good with what he got too so uh let me know in the comments below what you think sounds better as always man if you made it this far in the video make sure you you know subscribe to the channel we do a lot of car related stuff like we do here today we will catch you on the next one we're out cut it